Welcome back, and today we're going to be changing out the variator from the stock uh, variator to a Dr. Pulley one. And you can see here, the belt does not sit all the way to the back. And here's the variator in all of its glory. All of its glory. Now here you're going to see the comparison of the Dr. Pulley variator and the stock one. Now here's the fan uh, pieces of the variator. You can see how much travel the stock belt gave, even though it's only 114 millimeter. So we're hoping that uh, the new variator will allow for more travel. Now here you can see I'm just sliding in the new variator. Be sure to hold the ramp plates um, together. That way your rollers don't fall out and uh, cause an issue down the road where uh, you know you're stuck in like third gear in a sense. I also give more slack with the pull, uh, with the belt, just so uh, the front pulley can be assembled more cleanly and evenly. Otherwise, it might not sit all the way, and you could be riding down the road, and it could get loose on you. But that's worst case scenario. Now that we know that the variator is good to go, let's go into the next step. You'll also notice that the belt now sits a little higher in the rear pulley. That'll give us a nice little uh, difference in the low, low end uh, RPM areas. Then we're just going to put the sucker back on. There are uh, two guide pins that help slide it into place. And sometimes it can be a little tricky. so. Get a rubber mallet if you need to. Just a few love taps until it's actually nicely seated. Then you can go ahead and type, tighten all the eight millimeter bolts that surround this thing. So now we're going to get to a part that I've yet to see on YouTube, or at least to my knowledge, of an installation of a Banjing uh, stator. It's an 8 pole stator. Um, I believe the flywheel is based off of a jog, since it uses only 3 uh, mounting holes for the fan, which you will, uh, I recommend getting a Polaris 90 cooling fan for a direct bolt-on fit. I use a 17 millimeter um, to get the flywheel bolt off. I tried to get the washer off, but my fingers were too big. And this little tool here is the best 20 bucks I've ever spent on Amazon. It works both on GY6 and on Minarelli two-stroke engines. Now I do have to swap it over, I believe. 
over to the GY6 side as is a much larger uh, threading. Now it is reverse thread, so for you to get it tightened onto the flywheel, you must uh, do the, well it's uh, weird to say this, but you turn it left, and then there you go. Once you've gone and secured it, tighten that little portion in there, which is also 17 millimeters, and then, well, I tried to get it with my hands, but I couldn't. And with a quick, and there she goes. Now, here's the actual flywheel itself. You can see it is much smaller and much lighter. Now here's a little adapter that allows the new uh, flywheel and stator to actually sit properly. This is mainly for the 8 pole um, stator uh, to actually fit properly. But the thing is, is that depending on your GY6, it might not um, completely slide into the hole. And what I did is that I sanded the inside of it down a little bit more and then it was able to slide in perfectly. I didn't record that process because I just wanted to show you guys the final result. But that's the little adapter mounted. And for this guy, it was also a little tricky because I needed to sand, sand down the inside of the actual stator for it to slide onto the adapter piece as easily as it could. Also needed a few love taps uh, in the actual center to get it to uh, sit properly. Now this was just me trying to figure out, okay, am I putting it in the right way? Now, obviously the wires would want to go inside to not hit the actual flywheel itself, or that would be a big problem. Now here I'm spinning it by hand to make sure that the flywheel is not hitting any of the stator parts itself. And now I'm going to go ahead and tighten up the two uh, bolts that hold the pickup to it. Now you're going to notice that it actually does um, have a little extender that allows it to reach the new smaller flywheel. That way it gives it a good contact. But I still went ahead and did the credit card uh, check to make sure that there was a proper gap between the two. This gives you an idea of how much faster the engine revs on a lighter mass flywheel. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, y'all.